Hey, what's up YouTube? Jeremiah Hersey here and welcome back to the next episode. Today we're going to be building a Canvas application, but we're going to be using the Wizard app or the Start From Data way to create this Canvas app. And we're going to use that new higher survey table that we created inside of Dataverse in the last video to build this application. Now, rather than starting from scratch and, and just building all the components, this is going to be a relatively quick way to build an application off of the Dataverse table. We saw something similar when we used Google Sheets. This time we're going to be using Dataverse. So let's go ahead and get started. So here we are at make.powerapps.com and once again we want to always make sure we're in the correct environment so in the upper right hand corner just make sure you're in the correct environment for building this application so you want to be in the environment that you created that solution in and so we're going to start here from the home tab or the home screen so on the left hand side you can select home and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using this start from data option. So we're going to create this application from the Dataverse table that's already existing. So I'm going to go ahead and select start with data. And for our options, we're going to choose the select an existing table. So this is an existing Dataverse table that we're going to be using. So we're going to go ahead and select this option. And rather than trying to find our new hire table, you can just select this custom option right here. This is going to show you the custom tables that you've created inside of Dataverse. So I'm going to go ahead and select custom and you'll see the new hire survey table. Once again, with that prefix JAH, making it easy to identify that this is the table that we created in the last video. So I'm going to go ahead and select the new hire survey. Now, remember we, had several different columns available to use um, that we set up in the last video and so we're going to go ahead and create an application based off of those columns so we're going to select create app in the bottom right hand corner this is going to create a relatively quick application for us to go ahead and start our basis to go ahead and start creating. Now remember, there is no data currently in this application, but we're gonna be able to insert some dummy data, if you will, in order to make sure that this application works properly. And we can also change the description or the values that we see with inside of it. So as I select the onboarding value, notice, on the left hand side it has all of the different components that are inside of these containers and notice it, it built the form out for us so over here on the left hand side we can see that form that's built out with the different card values inside of it if i select my entire form i can change the fields that are present by using the edit pane on the right hand side. So if you look over here on the right hand side inside of this edit pane, you're gonna see an option to edit fields. So edit fields is going to allow us to change what columns or fields are inside of this form. So I'm gonna go ahead and select edit fields. So the survey number we can actually remove because that is an auto number. So we can go ahead and select remove by choosing the ellipsis here next to survey number and choosing the remove option. So I'll go ahead and select remove. Now we talked about the onboarding value. That's the name of the column, but we're going to change how it's displayed inside of this form but these are the fields that we want. So we want them to select the department that they're gonna be hired in. We wanna know how valuable the onboarding process is, so that's good. We wanna know if um, prior to the first day, did they receive all the necessary information? That's the required information column. Um, how well was the information presented? Is there. The onboarding length should have been longer, shorter, or was it just about right? And any comments. So those are the fields or columns that we want to be displayed. Now we're gonna have to do some modifications of this, but it's relatively ready to go 
for this application. So I'm going to go ahead and close out the field pane here. Now with a form, anytime that you want to modify the way that a form looks, you have to unlock that form. By default, it is locked here. And so we're gonna make some modifications. So I'm gonna select the department. Notice the lock here. It's telling us that that card, so this is a card, is locked inside the form and this is default behavior. So there's a couple different ways that we can unlock it. We can either right click and choose to unlock this form. You can also select the card and go to the advanced tab over on the right hand side. So you can go to the advanced tab and you can unlock it from here. So I prefer just to right click and choose to unlock. And now it's going to allow me to change the information with inside of this. So as we look into the formula bar here at the top of the screen, so where the FX is, this is the text that is displayed. Notice in the property drop down box right next to it, this is the text that is being displayed. And it's coming from the parent, which is the form. And so it's just displaying the name that's coming from the form, which is coming from the column, which is department. But we wanna make this a little more clear for our users, for our end users who's going to, who are going to be filling out this particular form here. So anything that we write has to be in double quotes. So we're gonna put double quotes here and I'm gonna put choose the department you were hired for. The next thing that we're going to do here is we're gonna to go to our onboarding value. So the onboarding value is going to be how valuable did you feel that the onboarding process was? And so we're going to, once again, have to unlock this card first. And I'm going to select the display name here, the text value, and I'm gonna write inside of double quotes on a scale from one to five, one being not valuable at all, and five being extremely valuable. How valuable was the onboarding process. And we're gonna end it with a double quote here. Now notice that it makes it difficult to see the text here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this text value. I'm gonna make my card a little bit wider here. And we can change how this is going to be displayed. So if you look right here if in the property pane over on the right hand side, so I'm looking here at the properties tab and notice the option down here for wrap, that's word wrap is turned off. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on so that we can see that entire sentence a little bit easier here. So on a scale from one to five, one being not valuable at all and five being extremely valuable, how valuable was the onboarding process? Okay, we have that one done. We're gonna do something very similar here for the presented information. We're gonna go ahead and right click and unlock this card. Remember, every time that you want to make modifications or changes, you have to unlock a card. But 
you don't want to just go unlocking all of the cards inside the form because once you unlock them you cannot lock them back so if you're not going to be making any modifications like for comments we're just going to leave that one locked because we're not going to be making any changes so pre for presented information we're going to in the formula bar here at the top So once again, we're going to say on a scale of, we'll keep the same verbiage here, from one to five, one being not clear at all, and five being extremely clear how clear was the presentation of information related to onboarding We'll go ahead and close that up in double quotes here. Once again, we need to turn that text wrap on in order to be able to see it. So down here, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that text wrap on so that it wraps around and we'll be able to see it a little bit easier. And I can make this card a little bit bigger if I want to here. And then we have our comment section. We're going to leave that alone for required information. We're going to go ahead and unlock this as well. So I'm going to right click and unlock the card for this one. This one is just going to be a choice of yes or no. So, I'm going to say something like, prior to your first day, did you feel you had received all the necessary information, such as a schedule of the onboarding process? All right, once again, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that word wrap on through the properties pane on the right hand side. So I'm just gonna select that word wrap, turn that on. So the last thing that we're gonna do here is unlock the onboarding length card. And once again, I'm gonna go up here to the formula bar. How did you feel about the length of the onboarding process? Once again, I'm gonna turn that word wrap on, make it a little bit clearer. I'm gonna change this so onboarding is one word. All right, and our form looks good to go. So we have all of our questions that we wanna ask for our new hire. We have the text that we wanna display here. And so we're just about ready to go here. And so we're gonna go ahead and go play this application and see what it looks like. So in the upper right hand corner, we're gonna go ahead and hit the play button. All right, and so we're gonna go ahead and select the new option here to create a new data here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the plus icon for new. Notice that our drop down menus for our choices now appear. So choose the department you were hired for. 
So I can choose whichever one. So I'm going to choose sales. Prior to the first day, did you feel you would receive all the necessary information? Yes or no? So I'm going to say yes. How did you feel about the length of the onboarding process? I might need to change the wording here a little bit. Uh, it was just, a, just right. On a scale one to five, I'm going to give it a four. And how clear, we'll say five. And we'll say this is testing. So we'll go ahead and click the check mark in the upper right hand corner here to submit this survey. And we can now see that it was given an auto number of 001 here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit X here. And our app is pretty much done. Now we can make some different changes here if we want to. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to save this application here. So we're going to go ahead and click save in the upper right hand corner. We're going to call this our onboarding survey app and click save. Now, this is not a final product. This was just a quick way to show you how to use the start from data using our Dataverse table here. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to our main screen here. All right. So now that we're back at our home screen here, so as we can see, if we go to applications here that we have our onboarding survey app. Now, one of the disadvantages of using this wizard app or start from data is that we can't actually bring this into our solution. So we have this application built, but unfortunately with inside of our solution, we're not going to be able to import this in. So if I wanted this survey, which we do into our solution. Unfortunately, there's no way to import this in. So if I go over to solutions and I go to my business onboarding solution, you'll notice that there is no way to import this application in. And if I go to add existing and go to application and canvas app, which is what we created, you're going to notice that we're not able to find that particular app. And so when you use the wizard app, you're not going to be able to import it into your solution. So we'll have to build a full application from scratch. But I wanted to show you a quick way that if you wanted to have an app up and running for that survey, you definitely have that option. But if we want this application inside of our solution, we're going to have to build it from scratch. I want to thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. I'll see you in the next one.